We're going to make a card today, bride and groom wedding card, and we're going to be using the Cricut to cut out our elements. So my desktop here is showing that I'm putting my base in for the card base, 5x7, and I always start with that so that I can make my um, elements to fit properly. So here I'm just putting in the dress part, I two circles, and welding them together. And I'm going to now put the black part in for the tuxedo, move that to the back. We'll put the V for the shirt, and uh, we're just downloading shapes. This is going to be the collar, so we're just adjusting the shape, putting the collar in, flipping it, putting it in on the other side. We'll make some buttons using the circle shape. And I use this just to um, kind of place everything. It doesn't have to be exact. Next, we're going to try to do a bow tie. I do have a download of a bow tie, but I thought I would just try to make one for this uh, video. Um, full disclosure, I am new to Cricut, so I am learning as I go. So here I'm just doing the two sides. I'm going to join them together and attach them, weld them, and this will cut out the shape for the bow tie. So I'm just playing around with it here, trying to decide if I want a center portion in, and um, it's just not working out the way I want it to, so I'm just going to leave that part out. And once we get all of our shapes in, we can just hit the Make It button, and it's going to load up the um, designs on your mat, and put your paper on, and off you go. Right here I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put a um, belt in made from paper, but you'll see further in the video that I decided to do it out of ribbon instead. So here we're going to look at putting an overlay on the dress, but I decided against that, so we're just going to get rid of that, and we're going to just hit make it. So after we have all of the pieces cut out, I'm choosing my cardstock, we're going to hit the go button, we don't need to see any of that. We're going to take all of our pieces off our mat. Uh, forgive the look of my mat. It was a brand new mat and I brought it home and I put uh, cardstock on it and it stuck to it so I had to scrape it all off. So it was a very sad day. So we've got all of our elements here and we're going to start to make our cards. We have our black card base there, 5x7, and we have the bride's dress shape. We're going to do some embossing on it to give it some detail. And we'll do the embossing on the top portion as well, just with different, just a texture. I'm just showing the embossing folders there. So after we get that done, we're going to put the shirt in for the groom and we'll put the collars on and we're going to do those with some double-sided tape or um, foam tape just to add some dimension to the collars. And <clears throat> once we get all of that put down, we will add the dress to, actually we're going to decide which ribbon we're going to use for the dress. So just give yourself a couple of options. I like to um, try a few things out, see what's going to look better. Uh, I do decide just on a plain gold ribbon, and then I'll add some gold accents to the card as well at the end. Um, and I think that this it's simple. Simple and elegant is kind of nice, especially when you're going for a wedding card. So here we're just putting in the foam tape for the collars. We're going to get that all organized and ready to go. I like to add glue as well, a few drops to the back of the foam tape just to make sure that it does stick. And here I'm just coloring the sides of the tape where it's white, so if somebody turns the card to the side you're not going to have a big garish white line underneath. And just use your um, magic marker or Copic marker or whatever you have there and uh, just um, add that to it. Finishes it off just a little bit. So we'll put those down. Um, We'll put the bow tie down. I did use some Wink of Stella on the bow tie just to give it some shimmer. And we'll see that here. My Wink of Stella, that pen is actually drying up a little bit. Uh, I do have some extras though, because I find it adds just a little bit extra something to your card. So we're going to put that down. Just use some Nouveau glue. Attach that to his shirt. And then we're going to attach the wedding dress. We're trying out the ribbons here, deciding which one looks best. Go with the plain gold simple one. And we'll just glue that down and trim off the excess for that. 
some double-sided tape to put that uh, ribbon down. Now I don't think far enough ahead here and I do end up cutting off the side. I probably should have thought a little bit further, but I think it's going to be okay once I, once I trim off the side of the uh, card there. So now we'll just put some glue on the, that, the back of that, and we'll trim that off. Get that attached down. And then we'll start to do some details on the card. We'll put the, well you see I already have the buttons on there. I opted to go with just some embellishments, some uh, black embellishments, little crystals for that. And I'll end up putting some uh, Katya, Studio Katya crystals on her dress just as some, uh, add some uh, more interest to the card. So we'll cut these off. These are scissors I just got from my local staples. They're actually, um, um, nothing will stick to them. So it's kind of nice to have them. They came in two sizes, so I picked up both. They were fairly uh, inexpensive for them. Nice to have when you're cutting off things with tape or glue or anything like that. Just taking a look at the card. I think it looks okay. Everything's lined up. Now here I'm going to put, I'm deciding if I'm going to put the, um, well, what was supposed to be her belt on there, but I decided against it and use it for him. Um, I probably should have placed the dress further down. You see I'm going to point out here on the bottom where the circle comes towards the bottom of the card. I'm, that probably should have brought come all the way down. So instead what I'm going to do as a fix, I'm going to put the, the, the greeting there. I'm going to uh, white heat emboss the greeting and I'll mount it on um, gold cardstock. And I'm going to cover up that section where the dress actually should have come down further on the card. So that's kind of a quick fix for that. And we'll just uh, do this now. That's Hero Arts White Embossing Powder. And you're going to be seeing my one of my favorite tools in the shop coming up. And it's a little teeny tiny desktop vacuum. And I use it all the time. Highly recommend it. It's great for picking up this kind of uh, the embossing powder or glitter or little pieces of you know cardstock. There it is there. That's one of my favorites. Runs by battery. Got it off of Amazon. It's just great. I'm going to heat emboss this. We're going to cut it out. Rectangle die. And we are going to cut out the gold background for it. The gold reflective paper I find can be kind of slippery so I'll put some double sided tape on the back of the greeting and then some glue and we'll attach it that way. And then we'll double uh, put some foam adhesive on the back of that to just mount it, give it a little bit of dimension again, just a little bit of a uh, little bit of interest to the card. So here we are, we're going to do that and attach it. I'll line it up on my grid on my uh, on my desktop just to keep it so that you kind of get it centered as best you can. I'll double put some foam adhesive on the back of it, add some crystals to her dress, and then we'll mount that on our 5x7 card base. Now there was a tip that I picked up from a Stampin' Up! video that I saw, representative that had, um, she was making cards, and I use it all the time when I mount my cards onto the card base. And you'll see it here coming up. It's a way to, when you put your tape down, three pieces of tape, and you only take the backing off the outside two, slight halfway, or even not even halfway, a quarter of the way, until you can get it positioned on your card front properly, and then you can peel it off. And it's great. Works really well. So you don't, you're not stuck when you get it pushed down and you're uh, committed to where you have it. You have a little bit of time to get a little bit of wiggle room in there. I'm putting them with the Stella on the groom's collar, um, and then we are going to put our tape down. So here we go. It shows it here. Three pieces of tape, two on either side, one in the middle. Remove the middle portion altogether, and just peel back the two end ones, opposite sides, one on the top, one on the bottom. Put our glue down, and that gives us a little bit of time to get the card face position properly on the card front. And again, I like to use both glue and double-sided adhesive when I'm uh, doing my card making to make sure everything's going to stick. Here we go. Put her down, get it in position, and you just pull off gently 
the tape back in and it just sticks right down. Works great. We're going to trim off the excess with the overhanging portion of the card. And then our card is finished. We'll put a greeting on the inside. I can't remember if I filmed that part of it or not. We'll see here coming up. Yeah, it shows us putting the message in the, in the middle of the card just using our misty stamp machine. After you've come this far, you don't want to mess it up. And there's we are putting our studio patch embellishments on the front of it as well. <laughs> 